Hey guys, Noboy here and welcome to a video that's, I guess, the first of its kind on my channel. And that is an art video. So basically the idea behind this video is me drawing one of my dream sets that I would love, love, love to see in Love Live. And that is an MMO set. Now, I'm not sure if everyone is familiar with what an MMO is. Um, I assume most people are just because I guess if you're playing Love Live, you must have played other video games. Maybe you ran across an MMO, but it's basically one of those games that you play online with other people. You make a character. Um, usually you have to pick a class for your character, meaning like a job or a role. So they could be a fighter, like a warrior character, like a knight or something. They're, they could be an archer, a healer, and so on and so forth. And those are the type of games where you'd like play on this character and you'd fight monsters, you'd do quests, you'd level up, you'd do dungeons, fight other characters. Um, so World of Warcraft is essentially like the biggest example I could give you of such a game. So I've grown up playing a lot of these type of games and they're very significant to me. Like one of the most fun things I have done, I guess, especially when you get really involved in a game and you make friends and you like play with those friends all the time. It can be a really fun and rewarding experience. So um, as a player of MMO games, one thing I've always really, really loved about them is how beautiful and intricate the armor can be. Um, no matter what class or what type of character you play, it's always amazing, guaranteed to be beautiful. Especially if you play one of those games that spend a lot of time into um, graphics and appearances and design and stuff like that. So I personally would really love to see an MMO themed set in in Love Live. Um, I think the closest thing we've ever had to such a thing was probably, I know there's like a, I guess it's more of like a, I don't know what to call it. I don't know if it's exactly like feudal or anything, but there's that one Archer Umi card that is an event card. And I guess the Seven Lucky God set is the closest thing aesthetically that kind of gets to the MMO sort of feel to it, but there isn't any distinct like MMO set in terms of like the girls being different classes and different outfits. Um, Bang Dream has one actually, and that one turned out very, very well. So I think that, I mean, Bang Dream pulled it off. There's no reason Love Life shouldn't. Um, I know Love Life tends to actually like prefer very cute themes, but I feel like there are ways where they could very well incorporate a MMO type set with those type of appearances and still make it kind of cute. But yeah, so basically this video is me drawing a magician or mage Nozomi because I feel like that's if that was ever a set and it was a muse set, she would definitely get the mage role. And yeah, I tried to make it look nice. Um, I wasn't going for anything overly complicated with it, especially how MMO sets tend to look very, very out there sometimes. Um, I wanted it to be simple and elegant, yet mature because I feel like that sort of look fits her so I tried to kind of give her a look that fits her personality. But yeah, um, this is basically I guess also a good way for me to practice drawing. I recently got this tablet. It is my second tablet that I ever owned. I used to have a bamboo fun and I was looking for it for a long time and then <laughs> I started unlocking some vague distant memories of my mom asking me if she could throw it out. And I guess at the time I said yes because it was really broken and the cable was kind of weird and the pen was really, really messed up because back when I got it years ago, I used to press really, really hard when I would draw. So I guess it's kind of a loss yet. Not that big of a loss because it wasn't that functional and in a good condition anyway. But yeah, so I went over to Amazon, got on my Amazon Prime account and got myself a brand new tablet for $90. And yeah, it's been serving me pretty well. Um, it's a very good deal for $90. It is by, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, like Huion, that brand. I don't know, I'll post a picture of it or something on the video. But yeah, pretty good deal for $90, works perfectly fine for me. But yeah, so after I basically got into university for graphic design, which I recently graduated from, so heck yeah. 
But yeah, um, I kind of stopped drawing for my own fun and pleasure and started focusing a lot more on just doing a bunch of design work. And I really missed it over the years and I definitely can tell that I have gotten a lot rustier. Like there's a bunch of things like drawing hair and just smooth, nice, natural looking lines that has become tougher for me because I haven't practiced it consistently in years. So it's really nice now that I'm graduated to have some time to kind of get that skill back, especially because it's something that I would really love to hone and kind of have an, as an additional skill, you know, like so I don't just have my design skills to offer, I have some illustration skills. So I've been trying to practice just some characters for my own fun and a lot of landscapes because I've always loved landscapes and I've never really gotten around to drawing them so this feels like the right time to start. But basically, yeah, so this is all done in Photoshop and I've been using a lot of Adobe Illustrator with my design work, which is a program, I guess, not a program that most people are not familiar with because Photoshop is the popular one that many people use. But it basically allows you to make like really clean lines. Like there's this pen tool that you use that allows you to collect, connect lines perfectly and draw everything seamlessly. And I was thinking of kind of cheating and like using that to do the line art so it's nice and clean and pretty and then I would try coloring it in and figuring out how to do that. But I figured since this is like a practice sort of for me, like what's the point of cheating? I'm just cheating myself. So here is my messy line art with my all right coloring I would say. I'm, I'm pretty proud of how I did on this especially because like um, I never got much practice with coloring anyway. I, um, every time I would draw, I would sketch a lot and I would never color it in. So my sketching skills kind of ended up surpassing my coloring skills that way. So it was basically just kind of like a figure it out as you go sort of coloring process for this. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any like constructive criticism or like tips or whatever you guys found very helpful for you when you're figuring out how to draw and color digitally, feel free to throw it my way because I'm going to be looking up a lot of references, a lot of like tutorials, downloading a bunch of brushes and whatnot and really trying to figure out how to do this right. So yeah, that's kind of the gist of it and the idea behind this video. So um, I'm kind of thinking like maybe I might make this a little series because it not only helps me practice, but it's kind of fun to sort of think up designs and stuff. So this isn't like the only set idea that I've had, though it is one that honestly, if, if Keylab ever did this, the wallet's coming out <laughs> because I would love to have cards with a set from like MMO armor. I absolutely love fantasy themes like that and I'm very weak for them. But if they specifically gave me an MMO set, which would be like designs that I really love, plus the nostalgia combined with it because I grew up playing those games, it would be like the perfect set for me. But yeah, I guess um, I actually thought about this quite a bit because I was deciding which character to draw. And I was thinking, okay, like if this was a legitimate set, like which type of roles would these girls have? So naturally, like for some reason, I felt like going with Muse more when I was thinking about this. But um, Nozomi almost instantly hit me like she would definitely be that like magician sort of character or like sorceress, I guess. Sounds fancier. And she'd have like some nice long dark colored clothing and maybe like, I don't know, in a card she could be doing like a spell or something. That would look really cool. But um, as for the other girls, I thought Nico would make a really good like assassin or thief. I feel like she's kind of like sneaky and sly in that way whenever she wants to be. Um, Ellie would be a paladin. She's got that like strong exterior but she's also very kind on the inside so it's kind of a good combination with the being like a tough paladin in full armor yet paladins are also... depends I guess on the game but in a game that I played paladins were like warriors who could also heal a little bit so I feel like that's a good fit for Ellie. Um, then Honoka. I feel like Honoka would be your typical kind of like warrior character with like swords and whatnot, just like charging in. <laughs> That's very much like her. Um, Umi would 
unsurprisingly be the archer, I guess. I was trying to think like, I guess, maybe giving a different class to Umi, cause like archer is kind of like, she's already associated with it and stuff. So it's kind of a given, but I could also see her as like a knight type of role as well, you know, like full armor and a sword. I feel like she's she has the discipline and the strength for something like that too. Um, Koturi would be something like a mystic. So that's kind of like, a cross between a healing class but also very natural and more connected to like nature and animals and spirits and stuff like that so i feel like that would be a really good fit for her then we have rin now i feel like rin would be really good in a fighting class but it has to be something that has like something extravagant about it so it, it would either have to be like a hand-to-hand -hand sort of like martial art class or it would have to be something with like a humongous axe or a big weapon like that. I feel like something interesting and bold like that would fit Rin. Then we have Hanayo. I feel like Hanayo would be like the best girl that would fit that typical like healer priestess sort of role where it's like pure and light and help everyone and love everyone. That feels like a very nice and gentle role for her, similar to Kotori but more I guess instead of the animal and natural sort of nature motif, it's more of like a holy light sort of motif. And then we have Maki. And I thought about this one a lot. And I think that she'd be that one type of character that kind of sticks out from the rest. Like even if it's a theme where everything is more like fantasy-esque, she'd be that one character with like the future futuristic looks about her. Like a sort of character that uses maybe like ancient technology or makes her own weaponry and just kind of like that one character who has a futuristic looking gun or a cannon or something among the rest of everyone with staffs and swords. But yeah, that's kind of like my, my brainstorming about it and I decided to go with Nozomi just because whenever I thought about her as a mage, this design immediately like hit me in the head and I started out thinking about like um, the neck piece actually. So right now as I'm drawing it, it kind of looks like potatoes But that is actually supposed to be at first I was thinking feathers like bird feathers But then I was thinking maybe fur so something like that coming around and Then having like a dress under so that's like the image that immediately hit me So I figured let's start with that and work with her design because I already have a bit of an inspiration for it so the design is supposed to be, like I said, a neck piece that's kind of got fur or feathers, um, something along that motif. And then as it comes down, she's got kind of this, it's more like a, not really a coat since the back is plainly a cape, yet she has like sleeves that come with it and it goes up to cover her neck as well. And then she's got that short dress with a bodysuit under it and she has one arm covered in armor. Um, typically in video games, whenever you have a class that's more like a healer or a magician or sorceress or even an archer, those classes tend to not be covered with armor as much as with cloth. So they tend to have more fancy looking clothing versus like some thick armor where you could see a knight or like a paladin wearing something of that sort. So that was kind of what I decided to go with and make a little bit of armor there so she has her shoulder piece and when I get to drawing the shoes they're supposed to be kind of like metallic -y and armory but since this is like a chibi drawing I, there isn't much detail to them um, and yeah that was kind of the gist of the inspiration behind her outfit so so far it's been pretty good this is actually my very first like character that I've started drawing and coloring digitally since I got this tablet um, I've been doing a lot of landscapes, so that's been pretty fun. I've been looking at how to paint a lot of those and I guess eventually I'm gonna start looking at a bit of tutorials or at least like color guides on how to like properly use brushes to paint details and stuff on characters as well. So I'm really excited. Hopefully um, in the future I'll be able to make one of those videos where like I redraw one of my old drawings like this or something and it looks fantastic. But you know, I'm kind of thinking too far into the future at this point. I gotta get there first. But yeah, I guess back on the theme of dream sets, what are your guys' dream sets? Like, what would you like to see in this game? Because I know I've heard complaints before, and I've had my own too, that this game sometimes really loves to recycle old themes. Now, like, 
I can understand that. I mean, there's certain themes that of course they're gonna be recycled. Like if it's Christmas or Halloween or Valentine's, like whenever that holiday comes up, of course you even want a set, you know, a new set to fit that theme. So it's nice and festive. But they've had sets like Animal Set. Animal Set has been repeated many times over. Um, swimsuit sets have been repeated a few times, though I personally really love swimsuit sets, so I'm not complaining. I will take, like, even if a swimsuit set is every second set, I'll take it. But, um, personally, yeah, I've noticed that sometimes they like to repeat themes, or some sets just feel not very inspired. So, I... Kind of thought like okay well let's brainstorm like what type of sets would i like to see so i'm kind of curious like what type of sets would you guys like to see because in addition to mmo i have a few other ideas that i would also like to see um i feel like it would be cool if they had like a mecha set now i'm not like a huge mecha fan but i feel like it would be a really cool break like a nice refreshing break from the usual approach love life takes um it could fit under the realm of like the future set I guess, or the cyber set as well. It would kind of maybe have that type of aesthetic, but it'd be really cool to have like a mecha type set and maybe have the girls either in, like I guess the idolized version in like a mecha robot <laughs> thing or something. Um, one set I'm so shocked has not been implemented yet is a magical girl set. Like it's so on theme with Love Live with the whole like cute and happy vibe that it's kind of shocking like how how have they not done this yet? I feel like that would be a really popular set. That would be something a lot of people would love. So I'm kind of surprised. I guess I'm kind of expecting one in the future. I feel like there's no way they won't do one, right? Like it's such an obvious theme, but who knows? I'd be really happy to see one. Um, another one that would be really cool to see would be a cyberpunk set. So there was an event card of an Ellie. Yes, it was Ellie and she has a cyberpunk SR. I think that card was pretty like popular. I don't know if it's one of the most popular event cards ever or something, but a lot of people liked her. And I feel like cyberpunk or cyberpunk, I meant to say steampunk, oh my gosh. Cyberpunk is an entirely different um, genre of stuff that I think Love Live would not want to cross into. But I feel like steampunk is like a good enough sort of theme for Love Live to do. I feel like that's, I mean, there's a way to make it cute, like how they always like to make things cute, but it would also be very interesting and different. So I feel like that one would be a good one to attempt. Um, then I thought about maybe like a Hollywood set. So I don't know if it'd be like old Hollywood or just the girls looking like glam and stuff, but I feel like that could be a fun set too. Um, I, I'm not exactly 100% sure what it would look like, but I feel like there is potential there if you were to like experiment with it and brainstorm that you could come up with something really nice. Um, and then a vampire set would be really nice in my opinion. Like how there was the vampire event Honoka. She looked so cute and a lot of people really loved that card and maybe like as a Halloween set or something even, just like where everyone's entirely like vampires. I think that would be a pretty cool set. I would scout on that. But yeah, that's kind of like my own sort of brainstorming on what type of sets I would like to see. But if you guys have any like dream sets that you've thought about before, um, I forgot to say, I would also love a racer set. There was, I think, Job version 2. Nozomi has her SR as a racer set. Um, I. I think that would look really nice as well. A cool racer set. They have some really cool like event SRs that have awesome themes like that Riko and Hanamaru ones where they were like mermaidish or something. They weren't fully mermaids but they had like a fairy aquatic sort of vibe to them. Like that would make a really sick set. They have really cool event cards that have like amazing themes. They just never translate them to sets. I feel like they should start doing that more often. It'd be pretty successful. They recently did that with the um, the Mari and Hanamaru set because Hanayo had her event card that kind of looks like that, like a graduation-y scholarly theme. So that was pretty cool. I'm happy to see them heading in that direction. Um, but yeah, guys, tell me what type of sets you would love to see. And maybe, who knows, maybe if I got the time and I really like your idea, maybe I'll draw it. Um, tell me like what type of set you'd like to see in the game. Tell me which girl you'd like to be the you are in that set and maybe give like a little description of what you think it should look like and maybe I'll draw it one day, who knows. 
But yeah, other than that, thank you guys for joining me. Um, it was pretty fun to draw this. I feel really proud of myself. I, I guess it turned out looking better than I thought it would. So that's pretty good. Hopefully by the next time, if I ever do another one, which I would love to, it looks even better than how this turned out. But yes, thank you guys for joining me and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See ya!